Hi, so in a previous video, I showed you how to resize your virtual hard drive in VBox, VirtualBox uh, VM using VirtualBox Manager. Uh, so we resized the virtual hard drive from uh, 6 gigs or 8 gigs to 40 gigs. But that's actually not enough because if I do sudo here fdisk on my Ubuntu, you'll notice I did resize the hard drive here, the disk, to 40 gigs, but I'm still only using 8 gigs in the partition. So I actually have to resize the partition. So what, what I'm going to do in this video is actually use a Linux live CD called Nopix. And what a live CD is, is it's um, a live CD is a CD that uh, the operating system will boot off of and actually run off of and it'll have all the utilities for a fully functional operating system on it. So one of, one of the most well-known disks is called Nopix and if I google Nopix and I go to Nopix.net um, and I click on get Nopix and in one of the links, uh, try to ignore all the um, buy the CD or download it from BitTorrent. Just go to a mirror site, an FTP mirror site. And I, lots of times I prefer the Netherlands because I know the Netherlands has a fast uh, download or fast internet speed. So I'm gonna click here, the FTP CD. Click accept for the licensing. And there's gonna be a lot of choices here. The, the one you want is the one that's around 600 or 700 megabytes and in the language of your choice. So I think this is uh, actually uh, German. So I want the English version. This is the one I downloaded, the one that's over 700 megabytes. Uh, try not to download the boot only one. That actually does not work. It doesn't have all the utilities uh, needed to run the uh, what you want to do with uh, trying to repartition your hard, hard, uh, your virtual hard drive or your hard, or your actual hard drive. So um, I downloaded uh, one of these, and you can see it's right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the CD here, and I'm going to reboot. So this is my Nop uh, Nopix uh, Live Linux CD, and let me. Uh, I guess I should do it properly. Uh, let me do a restart here. And I'm going to hit F12 to get into the boot screen uh, in my VM. I'm going to choose the CD-ROM. And this is the live CD that I'm booting off of. And I'm going to type in here Nopix. You, you have plenty of choices. You'll see there it says uh, press F2 for your boot help. But just type in Nopix and it'll bring up the graphical user interface that allows us to uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a utility called gpartit which will allow us to fully resize the partition the size of the hard drive so it's booted up and I'm going to type sudo um, gpartit And you'll see this graphical user interface is going to help us repartition our hard drive. So um, th this is my primary hard drive here, the one that says it's uh, 8 gigs, 7.8 gigs, but only 5.5 .5 is used. And then I have a swap, uh, swap partition here that is 2 gigs. But you'll see here's all a bunch of unallocated space. Now notice. Um, if if I try to resize this uh, primary partition, my swap partition's in the way, so I want it to be contiguous. So what what I have to do is I actually have to delete the swap partition. Um, but before I do that, I'm, I'm actually gonna pull up another G parted, just so I have something to reference as I'm doing the changes, just in case I forget it. Especially if you're doing it for the first time. Uh, you, you do want to pull up two, one as a reference and one for doing the actual work. So I'm going to do gpart it here for my second instance. And uh, nor normally if I highlight my Linux swap partition here, 
and right click if if it is swapped on I'm gonna swap it on here meaning it's um, actually in use you'll have a key here and it's locked and what you have to do is say swap off which allows us to delete it so I'm just gonna delete this swap partition and everything I do here is uh, is uh, not gonna be committed yet it's it's actually gonna be kind of in progress it's only when I click this checkbox where everything all my changes get committed so right now I'm kinda just uh, uh, doing going through uh, each step but actually not finalizing the actual uh, the, the actual deletes and the actual resizing so I, I don't have to worry about messing up here I, I could always uh, just cancel out of it so I, I, I deleted my swap partition and I'm going to delete the extended partition here so now I could actually resize my primary partition here which is the 7.8 gigs so I'm going to choose resize and the yellow stuff is um, the space that's being used the white is the free space so I'm just going to drag this here and I'm going to do 30-ish I guess I'll do 35 gigs or so so I'll be doing 35 gigs and um, I'm gonna hit resize so I'm gonna save this change for now and I'm gonna recreate now you, you see how now I uh, resize this this big portion here shows it's resized and I have unallocated space here which is less than before and you'll see here I have my partition size is 34 gigs and uh, the space being used is 5.5 so right now I'm gonna re so if I go back to my reference here I'm actually gonna recreate these two so you, you'll notice the swap partition is under the extended partition so I'm gonna have to create the extended partition first I'm gonna choose extended here and I'm just gonna choose the default uh, normally I'll do four gigs here of swap space my original one was actually two gigs but you know what the hell I, I guess I'll do four gigs um, so I'm gonna say add and you see here now I have unallocated space here which I could create the Linux swap partition on uh, so I'm going to choose Linux swap partition here and I'm just going to leave everything as the default and I'm going to click add so everything looks good now um, so here's the before you, you notice that that was my primary partition here where all my data is stored this is the swap partition and the swap partition is just uh, something the system uses to manage memory and this is my unallocated space so this is the before and this is the after so um, notice how my primary partition now is a uh, very large it's a uh, 34 gigs instead of 7 gigs 7.8 gigs my swap partitions always lo also larger and I have uh, less unallocated space so I I think everything looks good and I'm ready to commit the changes and finalize it so I'm gonna click this checkbox and I'm just gonna click apply and this will take probably about 30 seconds or a minute so that that's really it that that's all you have to do um, and I'll have a link uh, a little uh, link later on where I have the video for resizing the actual virtual hard drive using VBox manage um, another thing to note is that this software is not just for Linux it, it could resize um, even a Windows partition so uh, you know you, you could use it for that also so everything looks like it's done all operations completed successfully click close and now I am gonna unmount my CD-ROM and reboot. I'm gonna force an unmount and I'm just gonna click uh, reset here. So now I'm gonna boot back to my 
uh, Ubuntu. And I'll also do an F disk, uh, just like I did before we resize the partition and check that everything is actually resized. Looks like it's taken a little bit longer to boot up because of uh, the changes that we made. Okay, good. Alright, so I am gonna... Alright, it's taking a little while here. But all, all I'm actually gonna do at this point is just check FDisk, list the partitions, and make sure everything's... Uh, obviously, it booted right now, so everything is probably fine. But, um... I, I really want to show kind of the people watching this video that uh, you know if, in case you're a little bit paranoid uh, that you know you, you can sort of check so I'm just bringing up a terminal here oops wrong thing Alright, sudo fdisk-l And you'll notice um, here the hard drive is for 42 gig-ish and you'll notice now it went from 8 gigs to 3.5 gigs, I mean 35 gigs and my swap partition is actually 4 gigs now so uh, there you go, that's really how you uh, resize a partition with the free software that I got from Nopix. And Nopix is a very well known, I, I think it's considered the top live boot CD, Linux boot CD. So, alright, uh, thank you for watching.